So it was all hot air at the beginning when, in fact, this report was presented. But, Chair, allow me to end by... Honestly, I think as a minister, I would be irresponsible if I don't caution the committee. It's not an instruction. It's not an imposition. But I just want to, to go to the issue of the separation of powers, because I think I have a duty to, to engage on this. This because our constitution says the legislature, which is parliament, the provincial legislatures, and local councils, makes the laws and monitors the executive, and monitors the executive. The executive, which is the president, the deputy president, and ministers, makes policy, proposes laws, and implements laws passed by the legislature and the judiciary tries cases and administers justice. I'm raising this chair because I'm worried about some of the instructions that we are giving here. If you say the service providers must come back with a report within seven days, we are giving an instruction. If we take that instruction to its feathers, you are basically placing the committee to usurp the powers of management of NESFAS that entered into an agreement with the service providers. That you have called the service providers, it's fine, it's your choice. We are also usurping the executive, the, 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 the powers of the board of NESFAS. You are also, in a way, usurping my own powers as the minister. What am I going to do as the minister? I can't, for instance, as a minister, go to service providers and give them instructions. If I'm unhappy, I have to call the board of NESFAS and say to the board of NESFAS, what are you doing about this particular matter? Chair, we are a constitutional democracy. It may be very frustrating that there are these problems with NESFAS, but we are a constitutional state and we must respect the separation of powers. I have never heard that a portfolio committee actually can instruct a member of the executive or an organ of the executive to say, do this or that. That's not, that goes beyond oversight. Parliament plays an oversight role. I'm very worried about beginning to give instructions that at the end of the day, you can't enforce as a portfolio committee. What happens if those instructions are not represented? What are you going to do as the portfolio committee? There's nothing you will do. You will have to come back to me as the minister and say, Minister, we instructed this is not happening. Can you please act? That is the separation of powers between oversight, executive. It's very important, Chair, that we don't traverse that space because we are going to set a precedent that we are not going to be able to sustain. I must say, I'm, I'm very worried about giving seven days, you know, must do this and that. That's not the oversight role. You are now given an instruction, which is an executive instruction that, in essence, you are giving as the committee. Now, I don't want to start a Honorable debate. Honorable Minister, there is a hand that is up. No, Chair, allow me to finish and then the hand can come after what I've said. Minister, you can't tell me how to chair the meeting. Honorable King, can I please note you your hand? You have given me a chance, Chair, to answer. I want to note if, the if hand. You're giving me a chance. Oh, you are not saying, we say it's a hand. Is it a point of order? If it's a point of order, can I can you afford me but, an opportunity, Minister, to find a hand, hand Chair, is. can't disturb me. Either you want we have me just to told engage, members not to call no. frivolous points of orders. We have just told members not to call frivolous points of orders. There's a hand that is up. If it's a point of but order, if it's we'll not take a it. point of order, you can't disturb me, Chair, having given me an opportunity. It's unfair. Minister, how are we to find out what the hand is for? How? No. If it is... So the member must... So out, the member saying that I must stop. Okay, the member let, must me respect you. You. let me let me respect you. Let let take the hand. 